Basically what it does is when a loud vehicle drives by the road, uh, when a certain decibel threshold is passed, it triggers a camera and the noise camera actually captures the license plate of the vehicle uh, that's making that noise as it drives by the noise camera. We love hiking in the Sandia Mountains and kind of when you're out in the Sandia Mountains, you can't see the city at all, it's so beautiful, but then you can still hear the road noise, right? You can hear the, the vehicles racing up and down tramway at all hours of the night. I do a lot of traffic safety research, so I know about uh, speed camera programs, and I just thought, well, if we can catch vehicles speeding, why can't we catch vehicles that are making noise? You know, why can one person with a modified muffler uh, disturb literally tens of thousands of people? Um, why is that allowed? Probably about late 2019, early 2020, we put together a patent application for this, put together some early prototypes. Uh, and um, yeah, over the last couple of years, we've just kind of continually refined and uh, we now have the, the noise cameras that can capture those loud vehicles. And it's an important issue. There's, there's lots of literature out there connecting noise pollution, specifically road noise pollution, uh, to health issues, stress. If you're waking up multiple times in the middle of the night, and there's also the economic impact of it. So if you own a business right on a busy road that's really loud, people might want to go to a different business. And we're also doing some of the first research that I know of here in Albuquerque that we're connecting road noise with vehicle speeds with crash rates. So if we can crack down on that road noise, I think we can also crack down on, on traffic safety issues as well. Even if just one or two people is caught, even if just people know that the enforcement is out there, that can be enough to really uh, start to work on the issue. There's been dozens of cities across the U.S. that have run pilot programs or exploring the technology, uh, but there hasn't been a lot of widespread implementation yet. So we've had this technology probably four or five years now, and just over the last year we've been running pilot programs here in New Mexico, Albuquerque, and, and Santa Fe, so it's been really good for us that now we can actually definitively say, yep, yeah, we've got uh, about a month of data uh, out on the street and this is what we're, we're seeing. The next big step is implementation. Um, we've also got a million ideas for how we can take the technology even further.